Hey folks, let me show you something I learned about grafting peaches. Um, and I'm going to use my uh, handy dandy Gerber here, a little razor blade knife, to show you uh, what I learned and how I learned it. So this is a Suncrest peach. Uh, it's a fantastic peach that uh, I tried to graft along with uh, about 20 other peaches, um, peach trees, uh, this uh, spring. So that was back in March, uh, April and March. It's now December. And um, I grafted them onto Mariana rootstock uh, 2624, which is a great rootstock for uh, plums, not for peaches. I'd read conflicting reports that said it was okay for peaches, but I'd read others that said no way. So I went ahead and gave it a try, and um, none of the peaches took. Um, but in some cases, it wound up killing the rootstock as well, and here's a great example. So you can do a scratch test on any tree that you have, any hardwood plant that you want to see if it's still alive. You basically just have, like, you can do it with your thumbnail too, but you just use a razor blade, and you kind of scrape the bark, and I've done that here. And you can see where it is brown behind it. It's dead as a doornail. And this is um, the graft. This is actually the scion. This is the part of the peach that I grafted above. So... All of that never woke up. It's all dead, okay? But you see these little, very small branches that branched off? That was the rootstock trying to live this summer. It was sending out branches because the top of it was dead and it needed branches so that it could produce leaves, so that it could photosynthesize sunlight and create some starches to keep it alive um, over the rest of the year and now as we're heading into winter. Well, it didn't get enough of those, so the tree is pretty much screwed. In fact, I think it's already dead, but I'm going to do just a little scratch test here. Tough to do with one hand. But if I flip that up, you can see, hopefully, sorry, there you go, brown. So I'm going to go even further down. If you get down to this point, you can be much more aggressive and be like, huh, is this alive or not? Take a chunk. Nothing. Sorry, guys, this is tough with one hand dead so I now know that this whole rootstock here is uh, well, I can do this with one hand apparently I can't the others came up pretty easily but there we go so this is dead 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 so I lost that entire rootstock now uh, happily get my knife <clears throat> Some of these others, like this one right here, which I already did, the peach scion did not take, the graft didn't take, it broke off, but it sent up several branches and there were leaves on them and it was enough to keep the rootstock alive. I did a little scratch test right here and it's green. So if it's green up here, it's definitely green down here. So this whole uh, rootstock is preserved. Now, Mariana 2624 does not in itself produce uh, a plum that you want to eat, but this rootstock has survived, so I'm going to put it in the ground or pot it up with better soil, keep it safe for the winter because it's still viable and I can overgraft again with a plum, not a peach, uh, in the spring. So that's, uh, you know, that that's one way to learn. Um, and it cost me, you know, I think I ordered 24 of these. I think more than half of them survived, but, uh, you know, kind of an expensive lesson. But there you go. Hope that was helpful for someone.